Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So guys, grab a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, whatever you like, just relax, enjoy the video. Unfortunately, I can't have a cup of coffee right now. I have a cavity that's acting up, so I took some pain pills, and it just won't work out with the caffeine, but that's not gonna stop me from making this video because we got more eggs, so I'm super excited about that. We've had some amazing clutches, and we got more coming, so stay tuned. It's gonna be an amazing video. All right, guys, I want you to check out this meal. Now, this is the meal that sired the clutch that I'm about to show you. Now, if you guys been watching my channel, you probably already know that this is Apollo, my meal, Ink Drop Cali King. So, Ink Drop Cali Kings are one of my favorite types of California king snakes. I love this pattern. And I got this guy from Don Shores who's one of the best breeders in the business. This guy I had for a couple of years. He's a 2019 baby, and this is his first time breeding here. Now let me show you that beautiful clutch of eggs. I didn't open the egg bin yet. I don't know how many eggs, if the eggs are good, so we're gonna see it together. So you could already see there's a l nice little group of eggs right there. She's just hanging out. So let me collect this. So I just took the lid off the lay box. And wow, look at this. Just amazing, nice plump eggs, perfectly white. This girl did a great job and it's amazing to think that these snakes could hold these eggs in their body, I mean, Look how big the egg is compared to the snake. This is the first time that I bred California king snakes and we're having amazing success. Beautiful, beautiful, big, robust eggs. So we're gonna take this girl off of the eggs, see how many good and if there are any bad eggs in here because looking at this, everything looks good. So now we're just gonna gently Try and get her off of the eggs without harming the eggs. Let her just do her thing, come off naturally. You don't want to scare her. And you know what? This girl's being really, really calm right now. Sometimes the snakes get a little defensive and jump, but she's just coming off of the eggs real gently. I'm holding the eggs in place. All right guys, so we have seven beautiful, nice, hefty eggs. Now we're gonna fill up the egg box. This is the vermiculite that I use. And this is just the very fine vermiculite, no fertilizers, just add a little bit of water and that's it. We're gonna do that right now. So we got our little plastic shoe box right here. Most people don't put air holes some people do. What I like to do, I put one tiny air hole on each side. It works. Last year, I only had two good eggs. They both hatched beautifully. This was a little tip that I learned from a breeder. And if you put too many holes, you might lose some moisture. You don't have to put any holes if it's not totally, totally airtight but I just get worried it might get a little too humid and get moldy. So I like to just put that drop right there. Now, just like those coffee beans, I can't have coffee today, but we scooped the coffee. In this case, it's not coffee, it's vermiculite, and it's nice and dry. Kind of reminds me of beach sand, just a little bit more coarse. Now take a look at that up close. All right, so now we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of water on top. 
I like to use the best. This is spring water. You could use reverse osmosis water. But uh, tap water maybe, depending on where you're from. So right now I'm just mixing it up. Mixing up real nice. We don't want it to be wet and soggy. We don't want it to be dry. We just want it to be nice and damp and just a nice consistency. And remember, start off with a little bit of water and just keep working it in, working it in like you're baking a cake. Because remember, it's easy to add it, but once you add too much, now you gotta sit there and try and wring out the water. It's perfect if you can get it nice the first time. And now, as I said in my other video, the test, you squeeze it, give it a nice squeeze. You want it to not be dripping at all. There should be no drips coming out, but it's still moist. And when you let go, it still clumps like that, nice and moist. So now we got the eggs here separated. I got the nice vermiculite with the spring water. I made little indentations for each egg. It just makes it that much easier. Have everything ready to go. Start with this first egg right here. Now these California king snake eggs seem to be a lot bigger than the corn snake eggs. And you know, this is only my second year breeding and my, my corn snakes aren't huge. They're not huge, huge girls. So it's possible that some of them will lay really big eggs. But from what I see consistently, it looks like the king snake eggs are a little bit bigger than the corn snake eggs. So I got the eggs in the egg box. I got my label. Seven good eggs, no bad eggs. The lay date. You know what? It already feels like my toothache has gone away. I feel so much better. This is what makes me really, really happy. Brings me a lot of joy. So now we're just gonna cover this up and put this in a nice, quiet, warm, dark place. So now I'm just checking up on this girl. She's just hanging out by her water bowl. She looks way, way thinner than she did prior to laying these beautiful eggs. So we're just gonna let her relax and take it easy. So we just checked up on that beautiful female. She's looking good for just laying all those beautiful eggs. And you know what? I didn't give birth. They gave birth to all these beautiful eggs, but I'm craving some Chinese food right now. So it just came out of nowhere. Just craving some Chinese food right now. So I think I'm gonna finish up this video, make sure all the eggs are okay, make sure all the snakes are nice and relaxed, and I'm gonna go get some Chinese food. I'm kinda tired, I have a toothache. I don't feel like cooking, but the toothache started going away. I'm really happy now, all these eggs, all these California king snake babies that we're gonna have. I'm gonna go grab me some Chinese food now. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.